Okay, so this is where it all starts. Teaching a horse to lengthen and shorten his stride is the first step you need to take to becoming an accurate show jumper. If your horse's stride length can't easily be adjusted, it makes your job so much more difficult. So in this exercise, I'm lengthening the horse's stride up the long end and then shortening his stride on the short end. So to lengthen his stride, I soften my arm and push him forward with my leg. He has to lengthen his stride instantly. If he doesn't listen to my leg the first time, I give him a little kick so that he knows I mean business. And the next time, hopefully he'll be a little bit more responsive to my leg. To get the collection, I take up more rein contact to slow him down and shorten his stride. At the same time, and most importantly, I'm adding a good amount of leg so that he keeps the energy in his canter and he's not tempted to break into a trot. I generally try to get them as short as possible because shortening their stride is usually way more harder for them to do, so this requires a lot more practice. What to expect when you first try this? Well, it's going to take a fair amount of practice to get it looking this smooth. This horse and I have spent hours working on getting him this adjustable. He's quite a big guy, so he found this really hard when he, when he first started. Your horse will more likely take to the lengthening quite well, but it's when you ask him to shorten that you're going to pick up the most resistance. He may throw his head around a bit or want to break into a trot, but if you keep working on it daily, they improve really quickly. So be patient, but persistent. What helps when you're starting out is not to ask for a big lengthening stride. That way, coming back to the short stride is a little easier. As your horse gets better at this, you can increase your lengthening stride. It's hard work for them at first, so don't go at it for too long. You'll just pick up more resistance when they're tired. So give them loads of short breaks to recover. Remember, this is the foundation of becoming an accurate show jumper. This has to be in place for you to get really good. It may be quite difficult at first, but it will pay off big time in the long run. So dig deep, put in the time, and I promise you, you absolutely won't regret it when you jump in loads of clear rounds down the line.